Hi. Not checking in. Just Friday vibes. Um, so I guess kind of checking in. Um, yeah, so I have been thinking a lot about drinking again and what that looks like after my 365 day challenge. And um, I don't know, it made me really think about how um, when people say things like, oh, I just gave up drinking, I wasn't really into it, or uh, yeah, I just stopped, it was fine. Like, you know, I don't feel that way. Like, I don't feel that way about alcohol. Like, I, I want to drink. Like, I want to escape and I want alcohol to help me to do that because it has for a very long time. And the sheer fact that I'm 200 and some days into um, my challenge and I'm thinking about, like, counting down the days until this challenge is over shows to me that I strongly, I have a strong dependence on what alcohol does for me it's hard to talk about it's like it's hard to explain it really is especially when people who don't drink stop drinking <laughs> and it's like um oh yeah no I gave that up that's fine or um I don't know I wrote on a subreddit the other day um about you know cannabis use because some people use that um and it's just like it's not my thing so and it's not like I want to just switch something out for another thing like it's not that's not the whole purpose of this and I don't know I'm so like I'm so I'm at a point that I didn't think I'd be at like I feel I feel like by this by seven months I would have been like not thinking about it or not um, counting on the days to my next drink. Um, it just seems like the message got lost somewhere for me and obviously I need to tap back into my counseling and um, kind of come up with a, a plan for when my challenge is over. What does that look like? Does that look like only alcohol on the weekends? Well, it still mixes with my antidepressants, so that's not really smart. Um, is it only alcohol during special events? Um, I don't go out. Like, I don't go to special events. Like, I really don't. That's why I drank at home. Um, is it um, no alcohol at home? So anytime you go out, again, that would be like once every six months, which terrifies me. <laughs> like, the thought of not drinking... For six months even though I'm seven months in now the thought of like just randomly going um, without having purpose scares me <laughs> it scares me so like I just don't know where this is going like I don't know um, if this is gonna roll into another year challenge uh, I don't know if this is going to just end and I go back to what drinking five drinks a day. Well, that's not really possible. I can't even afford that. <laughs> like, um, I wasn't a, I wasn't the best mom, partner, support for myself. Um, and again, like financially, like it's just not possible. It's not feasible. But like mentally, what do you prepare for? Like what? What, what do you do? What's the next steps? And it's just freaking annoying me. Like, it's just, it's, it's, um, I don't have the answers. I have no clue. And I cried about it today. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. Like, to a lot of people, it means, it doesn't mean anything. But to me, it's so important. Uh, it's so important to have a plan. It's important, um, it's, it's, yeah, I just need something in my life to help me navigate and my crutch is either will be there, which is not so great, or it won't be there, which is also not so great. <laughs> so, um, I'm just feeling really lost and alone 
and um, that's where I'm at today. So, Friday vibes.